Shalom. I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Kradash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'm sure by now many of you brothers might have heard the current condition that Jamie Foxx is in. And what I have queued up here is a previous time that Jamie had a health scare. As it states here at the bottom of the screen, Jamie Foxx reacts to having a stroke after he got hospitalized. Now this is when he had this health scare previously some time ago, but listen closely to what he has to say. Thank you again so much for supporting. Thank you so much. I know a lot of you guys are saying what's going on here and what's going on there with some of the stories. Love y'all. Thank you again so much for supporting. Thank you so much. I know a lot of you guys are saying what's going on here and what's going on there with some of the stories. Love y'all. Thank you. All right. So what I want to do is bring you up to speed on his current condition, right? And of course, you too, I'm utilizing this material under the Fair Use Act. And hopefully by way of the spirit, the sheep will be edified. Now, this is Dr. Drew. If anyone, if anyone doesn't remember, Dr. Drew is a, is a longtime doctor, but he also has and or is accompanied by A.J. Benza. Listen closely to what these men have to say here. All right. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on, he was pressured to get it. This movie he's doing with Cameron Diaz. And I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set a week before this medical emergency happened? Is that why he fired three or four people because he just had had it with these mandates? I don't know. but. What I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Because if you read into what they were saying early on, he's communicating with us. That doesn't mean talking. That could be anything. It could be, you know, writing, sign language. You know, I know those little code words. And then when you tell me your father's playing pickleball, give me a break. You know, I don't. There's a great shroud of secrecy around Jamie Foxx. He's probably the most multi-talented person we have in Hollywood. Um, but even TMZ is not reporting this, and I know TMZ has got sources in hospitals who give them information. Like, for instance, I'll just I'll break the Jamie Foxx story, which I know is true, and I'll say to my audience, "How can no other writer glom off that story and investigate further? How can no?" I know, having done this for 30 years, there are sources everywhere. People know this story. They're just not going to report it out of fear for the people at Pfizer or wherever the hell the vaccination was. Maybe their company's doing business with them. I don't know. But it's all from the top down. Like the old saying, the fish stinks from the head down. Everything's, everything's, you know, politics is combined with Hollywood, uh, our belief system, the way culture is, the woke movement. It's all a mess. And if you can find the truth once in a while out of all that stuff, God bless you. And as he, and to his point, yes, we can find the truth because we understand, we filter everything through the scriptures. Now, let me come out of this real quickly here. All right, let me come out of this. Let's let's go here. Bear with me one second, brothers. Because what we have to understand is Jimmy Fox is a part of that Hollywood and or Holly weird world. Those of us who are my age, who was in their 40s, 50s, or 60s, we remember Jamie Fox from uh, uh, In Living Color. You know, in, I think it's called Living, oh, I misspelled that, but that's, uh, this, is what we, this is how we know Jamie Fox. This is the Jamie Fox we remember. And what, what you have to understand is that Jamie is many of those, many of those other celebrities. Their sins have reached the nose of the Heavenly Father. And what you have to understand is it's a brutal thing, right? To fall into the hands of the living power. You know, Jamie Foxx is of the world, man. He does not love the Lord. How do we know? By, the, by his actions. But the scriptures also tells us that in, in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 through 7, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in them. For everything, let me say it again, for everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires are passing away, 
but whoever does the will of Yahweh will what live forever because through our actions through our deeds we serve the Lord we're not chasing money fame notoriety or Oscars or any sort of fame or accolades right James chapter 4 verse 4 tells us you adulterous people because you're committing spiritual adultery right and idolatry when you chase the world right it reads it goes on to state further don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against Yahweh? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of the Lord, right? We got to remember what the Lord said in Luke chapter 19, verse 27. When you are an enemy of the Lord, you know what he's going to do to you? Let's keep reading. But those enemies of mine who did not want me to be king over them, bring them here and kill them in front of me. And that's what the Lord is doing to Jamie and those in that world. The Lord is putting them to death. And some of them a slow death, right? When Jamie had that stroke originally, that was the Lord being merciful. So the Lord, so Jamie could repent. But see, Jamie's in this stead here in, in 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 56. But when they had taken liberty, because right now Jamie has liberty, right? Do we all, right? We got liberty. Right? That's why Apostle Paul says, do not do not abuse the liberty you have in your house shot. Right? Just because we have liberty, we, liberty, we're under grace. We're supposed to be seeking the Lord ten times more. But I digress. Let me start over again, brothers. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the, the most high. Right? Jamie despises the most high. That man mentioned that Jamie took the stab and jab, right? Those of us in the knowledge of the truth, we understand. Make no cuttings in thy flesh. You don't think I work for a Fortune 50 company. You don't think I was pressured for a Fortune 500 company. Pardon me, Fortune 500. You don't think I was present, pressured to take, to take, to roll the dice? Yes, I was pressured. But the Lord provided for me a way out. And I didn't take the stab and jab. You understand? Right? Let's start back over. But when they, and I'm, I'm sorry, brothers. You know, I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not getting too sidetracked and disrupting you from the lesson. Verse 56, and we'll read right through it. But when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of His law, right, and forsook His ways. Moreover, they have trodden down His righteous, and said in their heart, "There is no God." Yea. And knowing that they must die. See, Jamie, Jamie forgot about that. That he must die, man. And furthermore, I want to bring something up, right? So we saw Jamie Foxx in, the, in, in, in I referenced Jamie Foxx from In Living Color, acting like Wanda, wearing the dress and the wig, right? You got to remember something. Jamie, he went after the Oscar. He had to have it. We can see him here kissing the Oscar, Oscar, Oscar pardon me, which is idolatry. Right, and what you have to understand is that that Oscar trophy, right? As we pulled up here, right? It states that the theorists claim that the Oscar is actually molded after the ancient Egypt god Ptah, who they say was reborn as Osiris, right? And then became the god of death through a transformative process, becoming. So Carr, let me go back even further, right? Here's a little bit more history about the Oscar trophy. So we know that that stems from Egypt, right? And it states, you can just simply Google all of this stuff, man. It just shows you that not only Jamie, but those celebrities are of the world. They are entrenched in devil worship, man. Idolatry worship, pardon me. It is believed that the statue itself is actually a molding on, and help and bear with me, Emilio Fernandez, who was a Mexican filmmaker and actor. The story goes that when working in Hollywood, he met the wife of Cedric Gobbins and asked Fernandez to pose naked for a strip. <laughs> See, man, it's all, it's, 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 it's all, it's a circus, man. It's an idolatrous circus, right? He asked Fernandez to pose naked for a sketch to create the basis for the trophy. So this is basically uh, an, an idol from Egypt, and if you want to believe that, it's a it's a it's a it's a naked statue of a man. All right. All the scriptures say, "Thou shalt not look upon a man's nakedness." Let's come out of this. This is this is the mind state 
we should be in, right? As beloved brothers, Proverbs chapter 30, verse 7 through 9. Two things I ask of you, Yahweh, do not refuse them before I die. Keep falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. That's the mind state we should be in, our, getting our daily bread, you know? And if the Lord blesses us with a little more than that, then the Lord will take that too as well. This is what the, the writer goes on to say. But give me my daily bread. Otherwise, I may have too much and disown you and say, who is the Lord? And that's what Jamie Foxx has done through his actions. He disowned the Lord. Who is the Lord? Because we see what he worships. We see what he has done to get where he is. Right? Okay? Oh, my goodness, man. Right? Let's go to this next precept. And I'm sure Jimmy Fox, his families, members, friends, colleagues, peers, they're praying for him, but the Lord doesn't want to hear it. Jeremiah chapter 11, verse 11. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. I will bring on them a disaster they cannot escape. Although they cry out to me, I will not listen to them. Because even the first commandment tells you, you shall have no other God before me. Okay? Let's move on from there. Right? We got to remember something. We got to remember something. Right? Remember what the Lord did to, to the whore. Right? To the whore of Babylon. But it also applies to Jamie. How do we know? Let's read it. Revelation chapter 2, verse 21 through 23. Right? Let me take Let me go back. Let me go back. Um... Uh, no, I was right where I wanted to be. Bear with me, brothers. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 2, verse 21. I gave her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling to repent, right? Look at what the Lord did. Look at what the Lord says. So I will cast her on a sickbed of suffering. I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely unless they repent of her ways, man. You got to understand, the Lord did this. Like the Lord says, I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. The Lord is bringing all this grief, all this punishment upon Jamie and the Fox household, right? Because I don't know if you guys, you guys seen different um, snippets of Jamie. To my understanding, what I've seen in the previous video, he take care of his, his entire family, right? He's doing all of this so they can repent and he's using Jamie as an example, right? Verse Revelation verse 2 and verse 23. I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches mind and heart. And I will repay each of you according to your deeds. We saw Jamie Foxx's deeds. We saw what he led up to. Right. We saw what he did in the beginning. We saw what he was pursuing. Let me go back up here. We saw what he's after. Money. Fame. Right. As Biggie Small says, money, hoes, and clothes. All a nigga knows, man. Right? Let's come out of this. Let's go here. Let's finish up with this scripture here. Okay? Right? Revelation chapter 17, verse 2. Let me go back a verse because I want to make sure that that was right where I wanted to be. Sometimes, brothers, I have various precepts queued up. I want to make sure that I tie the right precept into this lesson. Okay, this is in this precept here is also dealing with idolatry in the Lord making the men of the earth and though the kings of the earth is a Jamie Foxx considered a king, right? I'll pick up right here with her. The kings of the earth have committed adultery and the inhabitants of the earth were intoxicated with the wine of her adulteries. You see, Jamie Foxx is a prime example of a quote-unquote king right of the earth isn't he wasn't he at the top of his game wasn't he isn't he considered a a any a, a, a star of hollywood right he's considered a king okay and he has he is drunk with the wine of babylon man and that's why the lord is making an example out of him and now hopefully by way of this lesson you can see and understand what the lord is doing and also if you're listening to this lesson you should fear the Lord because of what he can do to you as well, right? And also to me, I fully comprehend it. 
I hope this, I hope, I hope, I hope that this lesson has been edifying, brothers. Shalom. <laughs>